I grew up in a Lahore that was known as the city of gardens because it was the city of gardens unfortunately since about 2015 we have not been able to see those blue skies in lahore uh, because we now have this season known as the lahore smog what is now the smog season was lahore's most beautiful season whether you look at october november before the winter or you look at uh, feb march uh, which is spring and the fact that my children can't cycle outdoors they can't play outdoors they can't enjoy lahore the way we used to was very upsetting for me this women's day i'd like to say that every woman should um secure the most existential threat uh to us to all of humanity and uh demand climate justice i am the secretary of this consortium called afforestation lahore that since 2019 has been working with various bodies of the government to bring back the city of gardens and then i'm also part of the government smog committee and i sit on the board of the punjab wildlife uh you know board which was uh, recently appointed last 10 years lahore lost 75% of its tree cover so just very broad calculations also told us off the bat that in order to uh, gain back the appro- appropriate tree cover needed for the population that lahore has now we would need to plant about 15 million trees in 5 years and um, lahore is an overdeveloped sprawling city with a mushrooming population leaving very little space for green cover and so something that we've struggled with and we continue to struggle with is the idea that in order for lahore to be a healthy city a thriving city it needs large spaces dedicated as garden sinks met with brick walls everywhere with the government nobody was even willing to listen to this idea particularly because it's a very expensive uh, you know it requires a lot of uh, expensive execution but we sort of kept at it we kept pecking away pecking away and like i said it led us to uh, the creation of the liberty forest on one acre right in the heart of lahore uh, along with lda and even then it took a while for them to actually see the growth of liberty forest one year on for them to understand the value and potential of miyawaki forests and now i kid you not across pakistan uh every city is scrambling around trying to put a miyawaki forest up so that just shows how a little thing can mushroom and become so big at that time it was you know myself kudsia and our project manager saleha who were the only women and you know we were dealing with lda we were dealing with pha we were of course dealing with the sponsors and the the government etc but but at no point did i feel handicapped or did i feel that you know i'm not being uh, heard so i think that every woman should 100% absolutely believe in their power and potential to do small things that can lead to high impact change so while the will is there to plant trees connecting that with the idea of appropriate urban planning and leaving enough spaces for a uh, green cover is something that we still struggle with people tend to view climate change and the environment as a trade off with development business progress and it's not like that at all anyone who has even a basic understanding about how the environment impacts economy livelihood progress growth development 
will tell you that there's no question about it we absolutely have to take action now or your economy will be the first to suffer whereas uh, somebody with a lack of understanding and a regressive mindset will view it as a trade off that nahi agar aap development and environment pe focus karenge to aapki economy suffer karegi no woman i've ever met will you know view it as a trade off women are very clear that of course we need to make sure that uh, lahore is a safe healthy clean city for our children uh, or for us it's a real leveler this smog because whether you're rich whether you're poor whether you sit in a car whether you sit on a bike um the smog affects all of us and it concerns everybody living in lahore so i think that there's no argument anymore or debate anymore about whether or not we need to combat the smog it's about how we're going to do it